Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to share with you how you can generate sentiment scores in Power Query and then analyze this in the front end. So idea behind this topic is you have comments that is let's say users are entering for example you have multiple places where you can find comments. Uh, people in the CRM or ERP or anywhere enter the comments related to the transactions right or you have Twitter or Facebook where people are and you know entering comments and you want to analyze those so whatever may be the reason you want to generate some sentiment scores within Power BI and that is something we will look at it and before we do that one thing one important thing that you should know is this is only available for the premium licenses for a normal desktop user you will not be have this functionality but anyways we will go ahead and see this as to how we can do that and uh, another quick information is this sheet link which is a google sheet is present in the description here i keep all of my videos as you can see and the links in the column b so that you can search any of the topics that i have created so far right and uh, and get the uh, uh, you know ser search the topic very quickly and find any video of your interest okay so with that uh, let me go ahead and one more thing that you need to know is about the data set in the data set is in the data set folder which i will going to use right and the link is present here in the data set sheet so when you double click that you will find the sheet what i will going to use is this user comments for sentiment analysis however there is twitter sentiment analysis is also present okay let's go to power bi so within the Power BI, this is your Power BI screen, right? And then you need to go into the transform data. And in the transform data, you need to then select the, um, right. So over here in the new source, I will going to take an Excel workbook. And I believe it is the uh, user score. Is it CSV or what? I forgot about that, but anyways let me take csv i think it is csv uh downloads uh, comments for sentiment analysis right so this is where i will simply take one very simple data set to start with what it has as you can see over here is id and the name in reply to user id email address what is a subject so this is email related data right and then you have the comments okay so all of this is present let's say you are analyzing email data and you click ok right and in that you basically get the data right now the comments are present here right um, there is some spam score words are already present which we will not going to use but we want to analyze the positivity and negativity from these comments right so uh, there is something we can do is we can simply go ahead and do that Another thing we can do is we can uh, merge this with subject and comment together so that you know uh, we can basically not just analyze the comment but the subject because subject is sometimes very important for example ROM items again so something someone is not happy problems with retroing so this is also an important information that we can do it with the comment so for that we can to merge we can go to the transform data right and here you have the option of merging the columns so you want to have a separator let's say we want to have a separator new column name is uh, comments or subject and comment maybe whatever we want we can get it now this is subject and comment is the new column right that we have okay so in this case uh, now once we have done that we will come back to home sub click on the subject and then click on the text analytics right so when we click on the text analytics what it does is because i have a premium capacity that's why i can basically see this screen otherwise it will ask you to sign in and based on your sign in information it will check whether you have the premium capacity or not and it as you can see it takes a couple of seconds plus while it is loading one more important information that you should know is it sends the data to its ai functions which for which you need to make sure you know it is following your organization security policy if it is sensitive data that is 
classified specific to your organization then you may want to check and see that uh, it is not you know going on a public domain or on a public uh, you know place when it comes to text analytics what it does it sends it to its back end engine which you know analyzes its data so just so that you know that so it has couple of things right you have scores sentiment is something what we want but you have the detect language exact extract key phrases which we will look at later but for now we will look at the score sentiment so score sentiment is subject and comment is the column what we want right and this is an optional but language is what we have is the english us so we'll click okay and that's basically what it requires to generate very straightforward comments from the power query and let me go back here and you can see the processing is going on and now it is asking you information is required about data privacy you click continue and then you have the ignore privacy levels check because we know that it is a uh, it is a uh, public domain data so you will click on save but in your case you may want to just double check that all the security related constraints or parameters are properly adhered so that you are not exposing your company data outside the organization right it takes um, around i don't know 10 to 20 seconds to really analyze but it also depends on the data as you can see my data was pretty large it was having close to what 20 or 30 rows or in one column it was just 20 or 30 rows worth of a data and it takes this much time so just so that you know that what you are dealing with and how much time it can take to uh, to analyze it okay so now we have it right now uh, over here we have the sentiment score so if you click over there you will see that it is very very less and definitely so higher is better that means positive for example over here 0 0.99 which is near to one so which is fantastic wow i had no idea that receiving grammars of the success such quality existed so this is a very positive comment similarly this is a very negative comment insufficient i ordered three widget last week and uh, all that basically resulting into i am very disappointed right so 0.86 you know something which is probably positive or 0 0.99 0 0.97 so those are basically some of the scores that you should be able to interpret 0 0.10 right closer to negative sentiment and that is where you need to divide uh, maybe in the front end the way you can do that is you can create a new column something like if it is greater than 0.7 then it is a positive score anything below to let's say 0.7 is not so positive scores if let's say this is what the categorization that you are looking for so that is the sentiment score but you could see there were other things with the uh, vision sorry not the vision but text analytics vision is something which i will show you in the next video but in the text analytics ooh, i did i select something yeah i did select something text analytics and looks like uh, it is going to give me no item selected for preview so i'll just wait for uh, this one for that i'll just pause because i want you to show how you can extract the key phrases all right so almost after 10 seconds it has come so that's why i have paused it now we will look at the extract key phrases right but what it is doing it is it is basically not allowing us uh, to give this okay over here now that it has come and we'll click okay so you should know that it takes some time to give us the output so don't worry if it is taking let's say a couple of seconds but wait for 10 to 20 seconds at the max and i think it should give you the output so now i'll just pause it again and show you the exact key phrases that it has extracted all right so this is the key phrases that it has extracted widget services packaging thirds insufficient lot of unhappy customers weak so on and so forth so this is really good for scenarios like this where you have let's say really long text of couple of paragraphs and what you are looking for is the key extracts right and maybe you want to create what word cloud after that then you can create it very easily with the help of this column 
So that is something which I wanted to show you. The last thing you can try with the text analytics is the language detection because sometimes it is important. Let's say in a rows, you have uh, data from multiple different countries or there is a requirement that you need to detect row, uh, the language. In that case, you know, you can have a language detection model as well. So that is something I wanted to show you how you can uh, go ahead and do that. Another, uh, so you can practice on this data and you should also practice on this data sentiment analysis. That way you will have a good control over it and then you can click on apply and close. And then in the Power BI front end, it will basically take you uh, or give you all the output that you have generated so far. So as you can see, it is uh, bringing the data into a model. All the fields will be coming over here, which you know you can generate it as a slicer. For example, you want to see how what are those comments which are coming in the positive side, negative side, and I'll just show you one quick example. That way, you can do your data analysis. You can you know generate more and more data as per the needs of the requirements. So for now, I'll just have to wait. I'll pause it. Again, it took around close to. Uh, 20 seconds or 30 seconds to give me the output. Now what I'll do in front of you is I will use this and uh, this is the score sentiment which I will bring it right and uh, over here I will just change the slicer setting vertical list tile no not the tile I think this should be fine the only thing which I was expecting is uh, score sentiment if I select this data type is definitely not text but a decimal number yes I want to change that and uh, that way you can see there is a score around that and uh, I can then uh, enable this maybe up till here and uh, I'll just oh I did select something I'm bringing it over here and here I am basically bringing subject and topic okay so there you go. Just one comment. Uh, I'll just close that. And zero, zero, zero. A lot of comments in this. 0.99, wrong items delivered. You know, fantastic. So, something or the other that you can play it around. You can, you know, do your data analysis as per the needs. So, just to show you how you can basically go and utilize this information. With that, Thank you so much and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.